The Soundevo WS66i is the intelligent and used friendly six zones by six sources whole home audio amplifier, that gives you easy access to play through six different sources from the external audio device, or the streaming music sources by your local network six different locations or zones, which is the perfect audio distribution system for the residential or commercial applications. The WS66i comes with six audio input sources, which included Wi-Fi streaming, USB, analog and digital audio devices. You also can add the Bluetooth wireless audio receiver keypad connections as the external sources that works with the WS66i. You can run those two built-in Wi-Fi streamers at the same time and deliver to the different zone, easy stream your favorite albums from TuneIn, iHeartRadio, SoundCloud, Amazon Music, Pandora, Spotify Connect, Tidal, Sirius XM, YouTube and more, which is easy to install and highly compatible. The supported WS66i app allow you to control of individual zones in the palm of your hand, or the optional IR remote control and the wall mountable keypads that will allow control of all basic functions for each zone, such as volume, source selection, mute, EQ adjustment and balance. If six zones is not enough for your application, no problem, dot the WS66i can be works with 2M66 EXT amplifier that expand up to 18 zones. Connecting the WS66i amplifier with your speakers. Point one stone simply pull out and remove the green speaker connectors. For the stereo mode speaker connection, each of WS66i's zone outputs has a positive and negative connector for a left speaker. Dot and the same for a right speaker, four connectors in total. Left positive. Left negative. Right positive and right negative. On the speaker wires twist the wire strands and make sure none are sticking out. Dot and insert each wire in the terminal block and tighten the screw. Repeat the steps for the remaining wires. Plug each connector firmly into the WS66i amplifier until it locks in place and for all of the zones. If you would like to hook up the speakers under bridges mode connection, please follow the user manual to connect the speaker wires correctly within 8 ohms loaded. Dot the switch on the rear panel of the specific zone needs to be selected to bridge position as well. Then the other side of speaker wires. Please make sure to connect with your speaker correctly via positive and negative wiring. Each zone speaker out and preamp out will provide the same audio signal outputs without delay. So those preamp outputs can be connected to the external powered subwoofer speaker, AV receivers, or the 7100s of a volt commercial amplifier allows you to take multiple speakers. The WS66i kit package version already comes with 6 zone keypads, IR remote control and the H1 keypad hub, if you already purchased the amp version, you can always contact us to purchase those controllers separately as the option. First, use the high quality CAT5, or better, cable connect between the WS66i's keypad port connection from the rear panel and the H1 keypad hub. Then, you can see there are 6 CAT5 output connectors on the other side if H1 keypad hub, each CAT5 connector is linked to your zone keypad. The dip switches on the back of the keypads must be set so they correspond to the correct zone like the chart below shows. For example the zone 1 keypad needs to set as on on off. Once the keypad has been addressed correctly to match the specific zone, then use the CAT5 cable. Connect it to the back panel of the zone keypad. The WS66i needs to be connected to the internet router through the CAT5, or CAT6, Ethernet cable as hardwire connection. The Ethernet cable needs to be connected to the Ethernet LAN port connector on the top side. and make sure the switch between minus 232 rupees and ethernet that you select to ethernet position. For beginning to set up the WS66i amplifier with your local network is that. 
you can use the IP scanner app to find the IP address of the WS66I unit. Once the IP scanner finish the searching, you will see three devices ID name related to the WS66I. Those two with under dash are belong to built-in Wi-Fi music streamer of the amplifier. You can simply ignore them. The one we need to focus on is the one shown, WS66I, only. This will be the one we need to use the IP address for connecting to the network. But sometimes the first one WS66I will not appear, it depends on the mass production version, and will shown something like Equitech Industrial instead. Since the WS66I built-in Ethernet module is belong to the dynamic network type, so the IP address of the WS66I will be automatically provided from your local internet router, means the IP address of the unit will be changed depends on the local network. Once you found the WS66I, or Equitech Industrial, device on the IP scanner list, simply click it and see what IP address shown. Once you found the IP address of the WS66I unit, you will need to enter this IP address in the WS66I control app, by manually enter from the connection step. When you try to connect the WS66I amplifier with your local network, since the WS66I only work under 2G Wi-Fi connection for the communication between the control device and the amplifier. So if you're using the dual band Wi-Fi internet router, it should show 2 SSID that you can select the 2G or 5G network for connection on your cell phone or tablet device. Then you will need to select the 2G Wi-Fi mode to using the app for controlling the amplifier and do the Wi-Fi music streaming function. If your internet router doesn't have any option to choose between the 2G or 5G Wi-Fi connection, then you could simply disable the 5G network from your router admin setup page to make the WS66i system and your cell phone phone device are connected to the 2G network only. When you open the WS66i control app, dot you will see six round icon on the center of UI. Click the one connection, it will bring you to the network setup page. You will see three blocks of device option on the connection page of the app UI. The main WS66i unit that needs to be connected with local network will be the master. Once the color turned gray, enter the IP address that you found earlier from the IP scanner app. When you finish typing the IP address, press the done. If the IP address has been entered correctly, dot the WS66I amplifier unit should be connected to your local network immediately. Dot and you will see the L symbol LED on the upper right corner of the, the app will turn from red to the green color. The L symbol shown in green color means the app has been connected to your WS66I and network successfully. If you follow this connection step and still shown in red color, means the app is not connected to your WS66i unit, then you should double check see if you enter the correct IP address or didn't select the 2G Wi-Fi network on your cell phone or tablet device during the setup. When the WS66i is first installed and connected to the local network, the zones are numbered. You will want to give them names that you recognize, for example, you can name the zone 1 for living room, zone 2 for kitchen, zone 3 for office, or something else like patio, bedroom, and garage. Just simply long press the square block of the zone icon, the editing window will shown up on the screen, then you can enter the names for the zones, click done, then back to the main UI window. On the WS66i control app, you can always rename for each source by custom, You could rename as a CD player for the input source 1, input source 2 for the media player, 
This should be connected to your external audio device via the RCA connector on the rear panel of WS66i. The Source 3 can be set up as the online radio. It will be the one of the built-in Wi-Fi streamer of the WS66i unit. The Source 4 can be the online music station. This also belong to the built-in Wi-Fi streamer of the WS66i unit. Then the Source 5. Since we are using the mini jack TRS connector for this input source connection, so you could connect the external MP3 player device to the WS66i for the audio music playback. If you would like to connect your smart TV via the optical cable as digital audio transmission, then the Source 6 will be the best choice. Once you set those new name for each sources, then you will not confuse when you select the audio source with. Of course, it is just the example to show how to set up input source and name the device, you can always custom something else based on your personal setup application. When you short press on the specific square block zone icon, once the color turned green, you can editing this individual zone on, off, mute, unmute, EQ, and balance. While using WS66i, you can adjust the master volume of the amplifier by the slider directly from the app. The volume level parameter will be also synced while using the additional keypad or IR remote controller. On each zone's editing window, you will see the round power symbol icon, if it's shown in gray color, means this specific zone is in standby mode, and you will not hear any audio music playback until you turn it on as in blue color status. You can also simply press the All Zones on icon, then every zones will be in active mode. You will see those six LEDs light on the front panel turned in white color status. When press the All Zones off, means all zones will be in standby mode and will not provide any audio output. The each zone's LED lights on the front panel will turn into blue color status. Once the mute function is activated, the specific zone's LED display will flash, indicating the mute status is active. To deactivate mute, press the mute button again on the WS66i remote, or disable mute with the WS66i app, so. If you have the no sound output issue on the WS66i amplifier during the operation, please double check see if the specific zones has been turned off, or into the mute status accidentally by selected with app, IR remote controller, or the source keypad. Each zone's EQ and balance can be adjusted by press the treble bass balance icon from the app. It will bring you to the editing window and you can custom the sound effect by slide your finger up or down to control the EQ. And the purpose of the balance control is to equalize the output levels at your listening position even when it's not centered between the two main channels of the speakers. For example in the living room, you sit much further away from the speakers and are not always centered between them. Use this balance control to correct the offset, you will restore the stereo image dramatically. The WS66i app also provides a party mode feature where all rooms can mirror the room you are currently in for whole house audio control. The WS66i has two Wi-Fi streaming modules built in, you can enjoy Wi-Fi streaming on any or all zones of your WS66i. Your mobile device must be connected to the same network as your WS66i amplifier unit, and it must be under the 2G Wi-Fi network, before you process the music streaming. The Soundevo Player app is required to connect and control the WS66i Matrix Amplifier's built-in streamer, on input source 3 and 4, with Wi-Fi connection. The Soundevo Player app is available for iOS and Android smartphone or tablet device. It can be downloaded from the Google Play and Apple App Store. Once you press the Music Streaming icon from the WS66i Control app, it will brings you and open the Soundevo Player app. It will show, searching for your devices, if the WS66i has already been connected with your local Wi-Fi network router, the built-in streamer on the input source 3 and input source 4 will be found automatically as found two devices. 
On the Soundevo player, you can rename those two Wi-Fi streamers that matched with your previous setting from the WS66i control app. So now we can change the name to the online radio and online music station, then press finish. On the Soundevo player control window, you can adjust each streamer's volume by slider icon, or select the balance pan of the right, left channel, and the stereo sound output for the audio music playback. You can choose which online music you would like to do the audio playback on each streamer. You also can click the My Music on the application and choose the music files that you already store in the cell phone or tablet device. To use Spotify, you have to own Spotify Premium account. You will find the device in the device list on the Spotify application and choose the device you want to play. As what we mentioned earlier, you can run two streamers at the same time, from the online music service to play the different music on the different zones. So now, we can pick up other online music station, to choose your favorite song and sending the other streamer. Then playback through the WS66i. Once the music station has been chosen from the Soundevo player, then go back to the WS66i control app, to select which music source you would like to set up on the specific zone. As you can see through the video, we choose the online music station on the living room, office and patio as the zone 1, zone 3 and zone 4. And play the online radio in the kitchen as the zone 2. For the zone 5 and zone 6, you can play something else from the external audio devices, such as the MP3 player and TV sound output. The WS66i supports Apple's AirPlay technology. When the AirPlay is selected from the third-party music station app, the WS66i's built-in streamer will be shown in the AirPlay device list, then you can choose which streamer you would like to do the audio playback. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any question regarding the WS66i whole home audio system, or any of the amplifiers and speakers product, feel free to contact us by email or visit our website for more information.